guys, it's me Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explorer video. We are also doing our Make It Up Monday project. And today we are making this really cute little box. It has Be My Valentine on the front with a little belly band. Open that up and then on the inside it holds a few cookies. Alright, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. When you see your name at the very top, that verifies that you were logged in. On this screen, we're going to come down and click on where it says Featured Projects. Click on View All. And the project we are making is the Felt Cookie Playset. Click on that. It will bring up the preview window. Click on Customize. Now, I am changing quite a few things with this box. The first thing I'm going to do is remove all the cookies. So I'm going to click on each one of those. Grab these last two here. All right, now I think the box is rather large as it is here. If I click on the box and go to the top toolbar where the sizes are, you can see the height of the box is almost 14 inches. That would mean you would need to have a 12 by 24 inch mat to cut this out. So I'm going to resize this. So how I do that is go to my left hand side toolbar, click on shapes, so I'm going to click on a square. And I want the width of my box to be about 4 inches. So I have my square piece selected. Again, that top toolbar, I'm going to unlock the lock and change only the height and make this be 4 inches. I'm going to bring this up. Now you'll see on the box we have the window and we have a bunch of square marks. I want to line my square up just below the, the square marks, the very first ones. I'm going to go and click on my box and go to the bottom so I can kind of drag that handle upward to resize it. So again, I'm lining up the upper left-hand corner of my box with the upper left-hand corner of the first square marks. And click on the box here and just resize it. Now, if you want your box to be 6 inches wide, you would make this piece here be 6 inches. But I do think this size box is kind of cute, especially for Valentine's Day. doesn't need to be exact. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. We don't need this piece. We were just using that for a template. Now for my size box, I already know the sizes. So I'm just going to resize the box together. So having the box selected, top toolbar, unlock the lock. You want the width to be 4.656. Click on enter. And the height is going to be 6.948. Click on enter. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and click on my box again. Right click on it and choose ungroup. Now we see here we have this belly band and we have the label on top. I don't want the word cookies cut out, so I'm going to click on this label, have it selected. On the bottom right hand corner, click on contour and then click on hide all contours. Do the same for this piece, contour and then hide all. So now we just have two plain labels. All right, left hand side toolbar, click on images. Alrighty, in the search box in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to type in the word Valentine. And then click on enter. Of course, you can choose any image or greeting you want. I'm going to scroll down to find the one that I used. It is right here. So if I click on the eye, it is from the Love Note and Sentiments. I'm going to click on the image, bottom right, click on Insert Images. Now we see the greeting does have a squiggly frame around it. I'm going to remove the frame to have this piece selected. Again, the bottom right, click on contour. Now this time, rather than choosing hide all contours, you want to take your mouse and click on each section of the frame. And you see when your mouse goes over, it kind of lights up. So I'm going to click on that piece and this piece as well. Then click on the X. Now we just have the text. I'm going to put this on the white piece. Resize it how I like it up a little bit more. All right, take your left mouse button holding it down across the shape and the text. You want to right click on that and choose attach. Now this will use the marker tool. I'm going to bring this piece up here and line that up. Again take your left mouse button holding it down across both shapes. Right click on that and choose group. Now this is supposed to be a belly band but it does not wrap around the entire box so I do want to resize this piece as well. So I have this piece selected. Again, the top toolbar where the size is. I'm going to unlock the lock. 
make the width here be 6.5. I'm actually going to go a little bit bigger. It can be 6.7. Click on enter. And the height is going to be 1.364. Click on enter. Now you can see it did skew our words a little bit, but I, I do think that's fine. All right, upper right hand corner, click on make it. So we have this piece here. Now this is your acetate piece. You're able to cut this out in cardstock, then trace on acetate, or just cut out the acetate. We have the white for our greeting, the pink for our box, and the red for the label. Bottom right, click on continue. I'm gonna cut these out, we'll go to the table, and put our box together. All right, guys, we have our box pieces cut out. The first thing I'm gonna do is create my acetate window. For that, I'll be using these bags from Stampin' Up. They're the six by eight cellophane bags. Take one of these out. I'm going to take my scissors and cut off the three sides. This will give me two pieces. Okay, so I'll separate those, remove these guys. Now, again, this white piece, if you want to cut that and acetate on the Cricut, you can do that. All right, so I'm gonna measure this and bring in my trimmer and my ruler. This is about one and three quarter wide by a tad bit over four. So I'm gonna take my piece of my bag and just square up all the sides and then we'll cut this piece to be the same size. So I'm going to line it up with my 4-inch mark on my trimmer and then line it up at the 1 and 3 quarter. Make sure that's straight. Okay, so now I have my acetate cut out. I also want to take another piece of cardstock and cut out the same thing. So again, I'm going to square it up, line it up to be 4 inches by about one and three quarter. Now, of course, if you want to, in design space, you can cut two of these out. I did my first box and forgot to tell you guys that on this one. All right, so now we have this piece and this piece and our acetate. All right, let's go ahead and work on our box. I'm gonna take this and just finger press on all those square marks. I think this is just a cute little size box. And for Valentine's Day, you're giving like treats and candy. Um, you know, you can give a lot of that if you want to, but I just think this is cute for like maybe the teacher or a neighbor, just something, you know, sweet. All right, take your bone folder across all those score marks. Really important with boxes, you wanna make sure you have a nice crisp lines there. Okay, let's get this one here. All right, we can set that aside. Let's grab our bottom. And again, I'm just finger pressing these guys to get them started. I do think that's easier for me. A little flaps. folder across all those score marks. Got this one. Alrighty. So we're going to assemble the top. Actually, before we assemble the top, we're going to go and take our piece of window sheeting. I'm using art glitter glue. I get this from maymaymade.com. I'm going to squirt some of this around my opening. Take my little window and plop this in here. And it fits perfectly. I'm going to flip it over, take the other part of my box, and just take my fingers and give it a rub. So we have a little window. 
Now what I want to do, you can see we have our flaps with the tabs on them. On the outside flaps, I'm going to take my scissors and cut them off. You don't need them. I mean, they're there for a reason, but I find the box is going to get a little bit easier without these flaps. I'm only cutting off the flaps on the outside piece. Okay. So our two short ends will have the flaps on them. Take a little flap. Grab your glue. And I get asked a lot about the art glitter glue with assembling boxes. I think it does a really good job. It's a nice quick drying glue and really strong. People think because it's a glitter glue, you have to use it with glitter. You don't. I don't use it for glitter at all. I use it for pretty much everything. And I do find that sometimes this works better than like a score tape or your ATG gun. All right, so I'm just kind of pressing that in there, making sure the glue's making contact. And get these little flaps over here. Give that a little push. And our last flap right here. And tuck that in first. Then I can glue it down. And line the sides up. Just give it a squish. Just allowing that glue to make contact. It does dry pretty quick, uh, pretty quickly. All right, now we're going to take our side pieces, that little top piece, put glue on that, and bring it down, and then fold it over. Just give it a pinch. I'm going to light it inside. Take my bone folder and just rub that glue. Okay, do the same for this piece. Bring it down, kind of pinch it. Take my bone folder and give that a rub. I do like doing that with a bone folder. I find it spreads the glue out nice and even. All right, now we have the size. Okay, the same idea. We're gonna pinch them down. And take our bone folder to it. Just give it a nice rub. And our last one. So I do apologize. This video might run a little bit long, but I don't like editing, and I want to see. I want you guys to see the whole process. And like I said, if you want to resize the box to be six inches, you can certainly do that. Just take the square that I used, and just make your height be six inches. Then just line it up with the score marks, and you'll have a six-inch box. So our lid is done. Now let's work on the bottom. And again, the same thing. The outside flaps. I'm going to go ahead and cut them off. And I do cut them on a little bit of an angle. Do this one here. And then this one here. Okay. Take our little flaps. Put glue on those guys. And then line it up. How cute would this be to give you a little one on Valentine's Day? I don't know if Valentine's Day is on a school day or not this year. But how cute would it be? You know, little treats or little toys or trinkets. Give it to a girlfriend or your significant other. All right, so put glue on that guy. Yeah, so as you guys know, I painted my um, scrapbook room. The room is all done with the paint. I absolutely love the color. It wasn't too far from what I had, but just that little bit of change, I do like. It does match the curtains nicely. I ironed those and hung them up. And I pretty much have the room back together. I just gotta paint a few more things. All the shelving is painted. And you'll see when I share with you guys on this Sunday, the finished paint job, I guess. Um, I didn't hang a lot of stuff back up. I eliminated, um, one regular shelf and then that one big shelf I had. I figure sometimes less is more. I find if I have more space to shove stuff, I'm more likely to shove it. So just trying to clean it up a little bit. All right, same idea. Take a little side flaps. I always do the side flaps first. You don't have to. All right, go ahead and pinch it down. Again, take your bone folder to it. 
then this side. And are you guys um, football fans? We are. I mean, I like NASCAR more than I do football, but probably likes football, and he kind of got me into it, and now I also love football. And we watch the um, the games. And then we, oh, who was it? The Eagles, I can't think of who they played. But they won, which was pretty cool, because we we're originally from up north, so we are, of course, built off the Eagles fans. So they won, I was pretty excited about that. And then yesterday we had the Jaguars, which is, of course, the home team. And they won. So I'm really excited about that. Of course, our town is going crazy. It's like all Jacksonville, which is pretty cool. And then last night, we watched the Minnesota Vikings with the Saints. And that was a good game. And back and forth, I think the Saints was like, or the Vikings was 17 nothing, like the first half of the game. And then the second half, the Saints were coming back. I'm like, oh my gosh, the Saints are going to win. And I didn't really have, I didn't really care who won that game. I kind of wanted the Minnesota to win because... The Super Bowl this year is in Minnesota, so I thought that'd be kind of cool. They can play the Super Bowl in their own, you know, in their home backyard kind of thing. Well, the Saints came back, and um, they tied up. I'm taking this piece now. I'm gonna put it down inside here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna glue it. I'm just gonna put it down there, just to kind of serve as like a little liner, because it's a bit too big. Now I can't get it out of there. One of those days, um, I'm gonna trim a little bit of this off. Might have cut a little bit. Yeah, I did. It was past. It was past four. All right. Just take this and just put it in there to kind of serve as a liner. Now it's too short. Okay, one of those days stays. All right. Take this guy. So there's our box, right? Now we have the belly band. And again, I had to make this um, wider to wrap around it. So I'm going to kind of line it up. This oval piece on top. Pinch the edge here. Pinch the edge here, bring it around a pinch. You don't want this part here to be super tight. Take some glue on this guy. You just want to make sure this piece comes off easily without them ruining the box. That's one thing I don't like about some treat boxes. You have to destroy the box to get the treat out. And I'm not, I don't like that. All right, slide that off. I'm gonna just pinch it here. Put this back on. So as I was saying with the game, the Saints came back, and then, like the last four minutes, the Vikings got a field goal. So they were in the lead. And then the Saints got a field goal. Then they were in the lead. And then there was like 10 seconds left. No joke. Vikings had the ball, and um, they caught it, and they ran all the way down for a touchdown. It was like the last 10 seconds. All right, so I have this piece. I don't like this edge here, so we're going to go ahead and change that by just cutting up on the side. They're making like a little pennant piece out of it. Of course, you can chop it off if you want to. It's your box. I'm just sharing with you guys how I did it. So, needless to say, it was a good weekend of football. All right, so we have that. I'm gonna flip it over and grab some foam squares. I also get these from May May Made It as well. I'm gonna put four on the back. Give it a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do five. All right, give it a squish. Take the backings off. So long video today, guys. Like I said, I do apologize for that. All right, I'm gonna plop this on here. So the white inside, the little liner, brings out the white from here. Okay, have that. Now, what will it fit? It fits these butter cookies. I love these guys. It'll hold eight of them. And again, you can fill it with whatever you want to do. You want to do little candies and little Valentine's Day candies. You can do that. But um, chocolates, you can fill it with that. Jewelry, trinkets. I think it holds eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, one more. So it'll hold eight little cookies. How cute is that for a little one after school? And again, because we changed pretty much everything with this box with the greeting, you can personalize it with your little one's name on there. You can do birthday, you know, you can change it out. Just because it's in that make it out section the way it is, does not mean you can't change it. There's no rules. All right, let's slide this guy back down. And there you have it, two super cute little boxes that hold cookies. Any questions, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.